Hello, uh, my name's Midiera. I'm going to show you my FBO1 editor that I've made in Max MSP version 4. Um, it's for the Yamaha FBO1, which is a 1980s FM synthesizer. Uh, FM stands for frequency modulation. In this case, it's a four operator FM synthesizer, which means there's four separate signals that create one textured sound. Uh, okay, so I've made this software in Max MSP, and it looks something like this. There we go. That's better. So uh, what you have here is the the entire all of the parameters that you can control the synth with uh, through what are known as SysX messages. Uh, SysX messages aren't supported in many uh, DAWs now. Uh, it's supported in Cubase, um, it's, it's sort of supported in Renoids if you know how to program, uh, but programs like Ableton do not, and I don't think Fruity Loops either, they do not use SysX, so you cannot control this synthesizer, hence having to make something like this. So uh, you have the different sections here, this is Portamento, Portamento Speed and the, and the Polyphony Mode and Mono, Pitch Bend Range, and various LFO. Uh, controls here, uh, operator switches for on and off, uh, transpose section. Uh, this larger knobs are for the sections for uh, just the settings really of the synthesizer, so what MIDI channel it's received on, um, the output level, the panning, um, different other things, number of notes, uh, so if you want to play chords you can have like eight notes, if you don't want to play chords you can have monophonic and just have one. Well, this is a very important section, this is the algorithm, algorithm and feedback, uh, integral to FM synthesizers. If you couldn't change the algorithm, they'd be even way more limited. You'll see me using that later, and it's, very, it, it's, it's the heart, the core of the FM synth, really. Okay, uh, then, uh, so that's the main part of the synth, those are all the synth controls there. And then we break, it breaks down to the operators I mentioned before, it's a four operator synth. So here we have operator 1, controls, normal things that you'd be used to seeing, for example attack and decay, sustain and release, uh, the frequency of it, the detuning, uh, total level, which is like the amplitude of the, of the form and the envelope that you're creating, harmonic frequencies, uh, little settings, scaling depth, uh, normal things you'd have on FM synthesizer. So that's for operator 1, this is for operator 2, Operator three, operator four. So in in a, in in summary, it's quite it's quite simple. It's quite simple to use. But like I say, none of these parameters are actually obtainable from pressing buttons on the box itself. This was like a, something they did in the 80s. I don't know why uh, they don't do it anymore. Uh, okay, so this is the on-off switch, which basically just it transmits MIDI the MIDI messages or not. You can monitor the MIDI messages here. So this is a MIDI message broken down. Normally the SysX messages themselves are sent in hexadecimal, uh, which is a different way of counting than what maybe some people are used to. But it's um, it's what how SysX messages are sent. And what these are is translations from the hexadecimal numbers into normal uh, decimal. So any time you turn a knob, you can see that it, the MIDI monitor is changing things. Okay, um, the, this synthesizer is really good for your weird, spacey, odd sounds. It's not a great machine for lead sounds. It's not really, uh, it's not really very, very versatile at, for an FM synthesizer. What it does do well in terms of production is the bass sounds. The bass sounds are absolutely fantastic. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is just me messing around with a MIDI keyboard in front of me. Uh, that's enough of me talking, let me show you what it can do.